Hello and welcome to BBC News. I'm Simon Pusey. Our top stories. 100 days since Russia began its invasion of Ukraine, we have a report from a town in the Donbass region which is in Russia's sights. The World Food Programme warns that more than 80 million people in East Africa are facing acute food shortages because of the fighting in Ukraine. An investigation begins after a train derails in Germany, leaving at least four people dead. A Thanksgiving service at St Paul's Cathedral marks Queen Elizabeth's 70-year reign, but the Queen herself was absent. And a monarch's best friend, why the Queen's jubilee wouldn't be complete without some corgis. Hello and welcome to our viewers on PBS in America and around the globe. President Zelensky has marked 100 days since Russia invaded Ukraine with a defiant video message praising his country's resistance and insisting it will be victorious. In the past week, Vladimir Putin's forces are said to have made significant gains in the eastern Donbass region. But the governor of the Luhansk region says Ukrainian troops have now recaptured 20 percent of Severodonetsk. Our international correspondent Oleg Guerin has been with Ukrainian troops near Bamut, one of the next towns in Russia's sights. 